Erin Woodbury, your Meltdown booty trainer for right now. I'm gonna take you guys to the floor and I'm gonna show you a butt lifting exercise. All I've done is looped around my foot my red tube and I'm going to come in an all fours position and I'm simply going to lift up at a 90 degree angle and bring it back down. There are tons of variations on this one so I'm just gonna go through them very, very quickly. The key is that you wanna feel a nice burn after, I don't know, 10 to 15 reps and then you can move to the next one. So another one that I would do is extend out and pull it back in. This is gonna work the hamstring as well as the glute. Out and in, and then I could also go straight legs, down and up. You also wanna to remember to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. You wanna exhale as you work. Another movement would be over the rainbow. Tap out to the side, bring it up and over. I'm telling you, I'm already feeling this. The good news is, if you're doing this at home with the band and you wanna try this out with weights but you don't own any, go to your local gym and ask them for a membership. They'll probably give you a day, if not a week, to try out their services. So this is what you're gonna do when you go to the gym. You're gonna do that same movement, but you're gonna put a weight right behind your knee and you're gonna squeeze on it very, very hard. It's not dangerous, don't be scared, but you're just gonna lift and lower. Because remember, you're advanced now. You're eating better. You're winning challenges. So now, what's the next step? It's obviously to pick up a heavier weight. So you can do that. Another one I like is to cross behind and lift it back up, cross behind. Everybody loves a fire hydrant. Actually, we love to hate them because they're hard, but you take that leg out and you bring it down. Bring it out laterally and bring it down. Key things to consider here, I'm not letting my abs sink down to the floor. I'm not letting myself go off balance. I'm trying to stay nice and square and I'm not putting too much pressure on my wrist. So once again, up and down, I can go crossovers and I can also do fire hydrants. So before long, you guys are gonna be nice and sculpted all through this area. Make sure you're going to a point where it's difficult. If you quit before it's difficult, you're not gonna see the good benefits.